pulling your hair out. <laughs> I better not pull out too much more, right? Yeah, this is a, you know, every storm this winter has been a little bit different and not your normal, not your normal snowstorm. They've all had something kind of wacky going on. This one does as well. East Greenbush view of the skyline of Albany, a little bit of wind. That's why the camera's bouncing around. We have a mostly cloudy skies. All right, we're going to start with, now we look at a lot of different computer models. These are four that we use the most. These are two U.S. models, the GFS, and this is their projected snowfall amounts. Albany right in the middle at 16, Cobalt Skill 20. The NAM, look at this. Again, another really good model, 2.4 inches compared to 16. Now we go to the Canadian model, another great model. They say 13 inches of snow for Albany, 15 Cobalt Skill. Then you go to the European model, 6.5 inches. So all four models are great models to use. Usually as you get closer to a storm, they start to come to a consensus, start to come together, but not the case. They're so variable right now, so close to a storm, which is unusual. They're having a hard time with the warm air above the ground. That's the problem. 36 in Colony, Schenectady, 39 Chatham, Pittsfield 35, 38 in Freehold, Dwaynesburg at 31, upper 20s to near 30 off to the north from Lake Placid to Tupper, Indian at 30, Scroon Lake 36, Manchester 35, Broad Alban 31 and 32 at uh, Johnstown. So tonight, drier air is going to come in for a brief time, slightly colder, not real cold. Here's the storm in North Texas. It's getting some moisture now from the Gulf of Mexico. This is going to track right up towards Indiana and Ohio. Then it's going to reform on the coast. Future cast tomorrow at 5 o'clock. Snow moving into the Catskills shortly after that here in Albany. The primary storm stays west. Here's the secondary development. And that storm by 7 o'clock Saturday morning near New York City. Now, we do, the models have the sleet line kind of bouncing around like this. That's the pink that you see. Some bring it up to Albany, some keep it south of Albany. And then the storm tracks towards Cape Cod. Snow into Saturday will get lighter as the day goes on, especially by midday. Snowfall accumulations, wide area, 4 to 8 based on the data right now. 2 to 4 to the south, a bit more shadowing off the Berkshires in Columbia County. 8 to 12 to the west, a foot or more central and northern Adirondacks. 8 to 12 Mohawk Valley, Saratoga to Glens Falls. 8 to 12 northern Berkshires, a foot or more for the southern Green Mountains. Bennington's kind of like right on the 7 or 8 inch line. So the impacts, especially tomorrow night, high impact for travel from 10 p.m. till noon on Saturday. And again, at some point, there's going to be a wintry mix close by. Becoming partly cloudy later tonight, a low near 26. We'll have diminishing winds. For tomorrow, becoming cloudy, snow developing 7 to 10 p.m., getting heavy at night and again. The ice is going to get pretty close to Albany. Snow gradually tapering off Saturday, 36. Flurry Sunday, 37. Not bad Monday, right? Light snow Tuesday, 37. And then windy, mostly cloudy Wednesday, Thursday. Snow flurries and chilly both days in the upper 30s. John? Thank you, Kevin.